Today we're going to talk about ring gap. Ring gap is the measurement between the ends of the piston rings when they are in the cylinders. You measure them with a feeler gauge just so you can see that's the gap you're measuring. You want to be able to Put your feeler gauge in there, and you just feel like a slight, slight amount of drag. That's it. Every motor's got a factory spec. You need to look that up, and then you can check them all. This is for our top compression ring, our middle compression ring, and our oil control ring. It may be in, uh, you know, standard and thousands. Just make sure you get the right feeler gauge with the right measurements on it. Mine is in metric because we're measuring metric today. The left number, left numbers, are what I measured without before clearancing anything. So if you see, they're kind of all over the place. And some of them are consistent, but they're kind of all over the place. Um, so I went ahead and went on the higher end of new spec for this. That way I could, uh, kind of account for the, the extra boost that this thing is making power. Uh, so what happens is if this is wrong and this with heat, the, the, the ring expands, if it's wrong, those two ends will touch and it'll crack and detonate your piston. It'll blow up. It's bad. So it's definitely important to check this. I've, the rings came pre-installed on the pistons. Um, and I think the intention there is for you to just go ahead and put them in the cylinders. I would not recommend, just by looking at the numbers, you can see that they are all over the place. They're kind of within spec. That one's too small. That one was too small, just barely. Um, but now if you look at the right number, that 35, 40, 35, they're all even across the board. Now the way that you change that so what I use this uh, fancy tool, but the cheap way, get this guy, the ring goes in there like that, and then this would have a handle on it, and you slowly take material off, put it back in the cylinder, remeasure, until you get it right. Then the other thing you want to do, it'll show up better on this, as you see, the edge is softened there so that it doesn't scratch the cylinder once you're all done. Um, that's important to keep these all in order because they are basically trimmed to fit their dedicated cylinder. So these are all cylinder four, three, two, one. You get the idea. Hopefully that explains it enough. If you have any questions, just leave a comment. If I didn't touch on something, if you need clarification, uh, just be careful putting cylinder rings back on. Um, there's videos on that, so I'm not going to touch on that. Um, but yeah, next uh, after this, so we still haven't uh, checked the connecting rod oil clearance. I'm actually going to do that after these assemblies are together. That's usually how I do it. Um, most of the time it's good. If it's not good, then the motor's going to sit there until I get different bearings. But, um, yeah. So, again, find your spec. Measure what they are. And make them appropriate. Try to make them even. Now, for what it's worth... This is brand new spec. 
That's what they want you to have brand new. The wear limit on this is one millimeter for these. So if you are measuring your piston rings and you're at 0 0.5, 0 0.6, just make them all even. It's still gonna run fine. As long as you're below wear limit, I'd say maybe 40% away from wear limit, something like that, then you should be okay. So don't freak out at that. But if you ended up, if you got new pistons and had it bored and honed and somebody didn't, your machinist took too much material, that's a whole different story. But these are very nice, very even. That's what you want to shoot for, okay? So yeah, next video, more assembly. Hopefully get this thing done soon. I apologize for the delays in posting. Um, just had a lot going on in the shop, so this is, was kind of on the back burner. Anyways, again, leave a comment if you got any questions, and uh, hopefully this helps.